Hey guys, today is Saturday and I am, well, I just finished editing a video. It's right there. Um, the computer's right there anyway. Uh, screen, computer's over there. <laughs> Let's just stop being weird. Um, I just did that. I washed the sheets. No, I washed the towels. And because on Saturdays I wash sheets and towels. And what I do whenever Jeff is on the shift he's on right now, because y'all know his shift changes every single month. So that means my shift changes every single month. So I have to change some of the things I do or the way I do some of the things that I do. I don't know what makes sense, but one of those does. But anyways, I like to have fresh sheets done on Saturdays. Honestly, if I had the brain capacity... No, it's not the brain capacity. That's not what I need. If I had the desire to change the sheets every day, I would because I sleep better with fresh sheets. Um, and I have thought about changing the sheets every single day. But if I was going to do that, I'd probably have to go buy a couple more sets and then do it like that. <laughs> because I don't want to wait all day to make my bed if that makes sense um anyway what was i going with all that i don't know my shift changes when well, jeff's shift changes so sheet day is as soon as he wakes up we'll strip the bed i'll throw those in the wash but we're going to put a different set of sheets on the bed that's what's happening that's what i do whenever he's on the shift he's on because he's got to sleep during the day I don't know if any of that made sense, but maybe it did. I don't know. But anyway, I've already eaten breakfast. I just took two of the waffles out of the freezer and I, the rest of the bacon that was left. I had that and a banana. It's a rerun from yesterday. And there's still a waffle in the freezer. So that was good. I'm thinking that I want to make up some more of those waffles like that. But... I noticed that that batter that I made was not very crispy and I think the reason why and I like my waffles to be a little bit crisp I mean they were good but I, I like them a little bit crisp I think the reason why they weren't is I had no oil in it and usually you put some kind of oil or butter or something like that in your batter for waffles I don't know anyways um other than editing the video and doing the laundry and later on I'm cooking supper I don't know what is happening today because I don't have to go grocery shopping but according to when Jeff gets up I don't know when he's getting up but we need to go shop for the rug and he has also informed me that he needs shampoo and for some reason there's not no I know the reason I will tell you the reason there's none in the back stock for him and the reason why is because every single time that I would say something about buying him shampoo he would tell me to wait so I waited I shouldn't have waited I should just go ahead and go with my own instincts and just do it because now we've got to go out and get some because he's almost out and I don't like that I like to be prepared ahead of time have a couple bottles hanging out He's going to use the same kind anyway. He has used the same brand of shampoo since I knew him. The whole time. We have been married going on 27 years. He has always used the same exact brand. Every once in a while, he would like get the off brand, like Walmart brand. But he'd go right back to the other. He just wouldn't try it. There was one time that I think he got Perp Plus because it was a nostalgia thing. He went right back to the same kind. I don't even think he finished the Perp. I think I ended up finishing it off. But yeah, same kind. Forever. <laughs> so, there's no reason for me to buy anything else. And there's no reason for me not to just go ahead and have a little bit extra on hand. But I have washed the towels. I've got to throw those in the dryer. I've got a load of clothes to fold. And I've got to empty the dishwasher. There's a very tiny bit. Well, 
the stuff from his lunch last night I've got to put in the dishwasher. So a bowl and fork and then the cat food thing where I fed Daisy this morning. The little silicone top that I put on the cans of food because she doesn't eat a whole can a day. So, because I do it the way the vet said, but I don't know what's happening today. So we'll see. And also, Jeff had said, like, we're having chicken tenders for supper. And I said, I didn't really know how I wanted to do them. I was not going to do a pickle brine like I did last time. I just wasn't sure what we were going to do. And he mentioned the Parmesan parsley cutlets that I used to do all the time, but I haven't been doing. I said, well, yeah, but we did that with, like, chicken breast that was, like, a chicken breast cut in half. So, a fillet or a cutlet or whatever. I don't, Is it a cutlet? I don't know. It doesn't matter. And I said, well, we did that with that normally, but you can still do it with the tenders. So, I'm probably going to do those. The problem is, I don't have any fresh parsley, so it just might be Parmesan. And I don't really like doing those because y'all know how I like, I don't like, you know how I do not like to fry. <laughs> that involves frying. But I may do it anyway just because he wants it. Or he mentioned it. That doesn't mean he wanted it. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go for now and I'll be back whenever I'm doing something. I'm probably just going to go ahead and fold the clothes and do the dishes or vice versa. And just let y'all listen to some music while I do that like I always do. And just get those two things out of the way so I don't have to think about it. I also need to take those other clothes to the dryer. And, yeah. Get the rest of the stuff started. Did I tell y'all what I had for breakfast? I don't know if I did or not. I had leftover waffle and bacon and banana. If I didn't tell you. There you go. I don't know if I told y'all. It was good though. Yeah, I think I did. Because I think I need to add some oil to the waffle. I don't know. There's another task that I need to do. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. I have this stack of papers here on the desk. Oh boy. It's kind of a mess. Stop falling. It has become crazy now. What happened? How's that set that way? Anyways. This is a stack of recipes I've used recently that need to go back. Or recipes that I've used recently that we like that I need to put into my binders and um, some of this is just like other stuff that's not anything to do with recipes and I did because I bought some of these protectors oh there's the chicken all I can oh I need to do that again sometime soon that was good y'all anyway let me get back on subject. I need to put some of these recipes into the protectors and put them in the binders. So this big stack is off of my desk. I may do that with y'all today. But then again, I don't know if I want to do it with y'all because it will just be a music montage. Um... So really, I don't know. I'm probably not going to do it with y'all. But, I don't know what I'm doing. This is something Jeff and... Oh, they were figuring out a new bed for Noah. They were drawing it out. And of course, it ends up on my desk. But anyway, I need to put all this away. I need to organize it. And put that... stuff. Which part of it is... There's like junk mail in there that I need to figure out what I'm doing with it. Everything is stuck on the desk. So, if I decide to do that, I'll just tell you. Because <laughs> I, I don't want you to have to sit there and watch me do it. But, if you don't know, I need to try this recipe. It's Crispy rosemary sea salt flatbread, crack, flatbread crackers. But we would do it probably... I don't know if we'd do the rosemary or not. We might or might not. Because you have to have fresh. We don't have any fresh. Because my rosemary died for some reason. We don't know why it died. 
it was doing really good. It got really tall, and then all of a sudden it died. Anyway, um, where was I going with that? Anyway, I put these into, well, let me just show you, into one of these little protectors, and then I put them in the things. This is those brownies that I made. All right, I'll be back. I'll see y'all a little bit, or it'll be a second for you. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Okay, so I sat here at my desk while watching a little bit of YouTube and put all of these into the little um, sheet protectors. Make sure if you do this, use the heavy duty ones. They cost a little bit more, but I've had the cheaper light duty ones and they just tear up so fast. And this is something you wanna last for years. For some reason, that one is not all the way in. But anyway, I just sat here and watch some YouTube and put them all in and categorize them somewhat like which book they're supposed to go in and then whenever I start to put them in the books I'll put them in the right categories in the books but got those done and I'm gonna stack them so that I can still have them separated and some of these recipes we have tried some of them we have not and what we have started doing, that one's different because um, it was already in a thing. So I was like, what in the world? But um, anyway, some of them we've tried, some of them we haven't. And if it's one that we have tried, we're starting to do like five star or, you know, whatever like that. And if it's something that we absolutely 
do not like, we just throw it away. We don't keep it. Um, we're also, I make notes on my little recipes. So there's all of those off of here. That big stack is now going to go into the binders. I don't want to do it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put it over there and I might do it in a little while, but right now my eyeballs need a break because they just do. <laughs> and I'm gonna have me some water and watch a little bit more YouTube for right now because that was a lot of eyeball work, <laughs> you know? I wanna get all this cleaned up, but I keep, I keep like I need Somewhere I can put my Bible study stuff that's not here that's really close and easy to get to and I have a little basket that I have for Bible study but it's full of stuff that I use so I don't know I need to figure out something that's like a, a go-to place but yeah anyway I'm happy to have all of these in the protectors and what I'm going to do from now on is as soon as I print off, I'll put it in a protector whether we know if we like it or not and if we like it, I can keep it in the protector and write my notes on it. If we don't like it, then I can just take it out of the protector and put the protector in the back of the book. Hello? <laughs> but yeah, I need to start doing it this way and keeping them keep on track of all of them I do have some in one of my binders over there that I need to put in protectors too not right now it's just a few it's not many but anyway I'll be back later okay so I'm about to start with the chicken tenders and I'm gonna do something similar to what I do with the parsley parmesan chicken cutlets or chicken fritters or not fritters but fillets um, I'm just not going to have the parsley because I don't have any fresh parsley. I think I said that earlier, but I don't remember if I talked about it or not now at this point in the day. So, um, I have a paper plate here that I'm going to put some all-purpose flour on. I have a bowl here for some eggs. And then I have some panko and the Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to put a little bit of, well, i got black pepper all over that. A little bit of seasoned salt with my panko and some pepper. Do we know why the dogs are barking? Well, okay. The seasoned salt and the pepper. And I did generous, generously season the actual chicken strips with the seasoned salt and black pepper. Hopefully there'll be enough. Which there is some salt in this too, so. Oh wow, okay. Oh, no, I don't want that much. That was way too much. I should have kept some of that, though. Okay. So, this is where I'm going to put the panko and the... Parmesan. You can use regular breadcrumbs, but the panko just does, it's, I like it better. That's just, I like it better. I don't have any reason why other than it's just crunchier. So I'm going to put the all-purpose flour here. I got pepper everywhere it looks like, but oh well. down. Now I'm going to grab the eggs. These just came from our girls. Jennifer's got them and washed them up. I know they're fresh. 
so I'm not gonna worry about not putting them both in. Can I wash my hands, please? Or wash my gloves. Okay, so I'm just gonna scramble these up a little bit. I've got my oil over here heating up and I'm gonna mix the panko and the cheese together some with the seasoning because we want it all together. And I'm gonna just start with putting the chicken in the flour, then the egg, and then into the panko. Did I usually do back to the flour or? No, I didn't, I didn't, no. I usually went right back to the panko. I don't know how long I've been doing this. Do you, Jeffrey? How long ago did I come up with this? Mm, not sure if that's quite hot enough yet. What? No. I didn't think so, but I can go ahead and start this. You can season your flour too, but I you don't have to. I'm going to have to wait until the oil gets hot enough because it's not there yet. Are we sure it's not ready? bubbling when I put that in. What say you, sir? Yeah, but I don't want it to fall all off. This is another reason why I don't like frying. No, it's doing. It's, it's good. Okay. It's frying. Okay, so I'm going to do all of them. I usually end up with the club fingers because I stick my hands into all of it. But I was trying not to this time, but I went ahead and did it anyway, didn't I? Well, I was trying not to get it into the flour, then into the egg. So. I'm also washing our sheets because Jeff got up and I got those in. And if they get dry before bedtime or before my bedtime, I'll go ahead and make the bed. If not, I'll do it with other sheets. You don't want to overload your pan though, because if you do, um, you won't. It won't cook as well. four in there at a time 
And then, I don't know, what are we having with it? Have we decided anything? Do what? Oh, there was a noise. Oh, that's what it was. The washing machine. I can smell the cheese. Be someone who doesn't like frying very much. I've been doing it a lot more lately, haven't I? Did we just want to eat some of that flavored rice or something? Or some of that, oh, box macaroni and cheese to get it out of the house? So which one? Yeah, that sounds like it. Yeah. Which one though? Ooh, I almost put that in there with a the panko. That would not be good. Alright, so I'm going to put this one in and then I'm going to start um like I'm just going to let it go. I'm wearing gloves because I have an eczema flare and I don't want to have to wash my hands too much, but I'm going to end up wasting some gloves. I don't know why the dogs are barking. It's Delilah, I think. She has a very bad habit of barking a lot lately. I don't know why she started doing that, but she does. She has lots to talk about, I guess. But we do have new neighbors that we haven't had neighbors in one house for several months and there's kids so maybe that's it. Jeffrey, can you come flip these like the one in the middle? We have the oven on, um, we're going to need two of those. We have the oven on keep warm so that it can, so we can put the chicken in there. Ooh, that one almost too much. Let's let that one right there and I might need flipping too. Oh, part of it does. You might can flip all of them, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and sit that there. Anyway, I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll be back. That one's a mess in a little bit. Okay, so this is the last four pieces and I'm about to take this one up and put it in the oven where that um, we have, it's actually the air fryer pan, but it's got, you know, the little holes in it or whatever so that it'll drain and not get soggy because you don't want to do all this work to have soggy chicken. But that one got a little done done. The middle one seemed to get done more, like, faster or whatever. But that's those three. Noah is making some, just uh, the Kraft macaroni and cheese, the twisty ones, because we're just trying to use those up. He's put, he's got two boxes that he put in the microwave. Jeff is cutting up broccoli and cucumber. We're just going to have some fresh vegetable with it. And that's going to be our dinner. But I'll show y'all what it all looks like once we're done with all of that. And Noah also set the table. But the chicken is smelling good. What do you think, Jeffrey? You tasted it, right? You and Noah tasted it. What do you think about the little bite? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> there was like little, two little pieces that had fallen off. So I went ahead and breaded it and fried it up and I stuck a piece in Noah's mouth and I stuck a piece in his mouth. They didn't know what I was doing. They just took it. Did you know what I was doing? I, <laughs> I stuck it in their mouth. 
He's also going to go ahead, or he has been, um, what am I saying? He went ahead and cut up all the broccoli, washed all the broccoli, and he's cutting it all up. That's what I'm trying to say. He's prepping the broccoli. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. Oh, we'll be back, because I don't know what I'm talking about, and it's getting hot in here. But almost done with our supper. I think it's going to be good. Okay, so here's the chicken, and some of it got a little darker than I wanted right there. That's okay. The cucumber and broccoli, and the macaroni and cheese, and got some ranch in little bowls for the boys. But that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay, so I don't know how many years ago, but it's been quite a few. I bought some patterns and some cloth for some aprons and never made them so I found that this kind of apron that Stacy told well she didn't just tell me she told everybody that watched her video um, the kind she had that they have on Amazon that this is like my favorite type of apron and the reason why is because it doesn't go around your neck like the one I'm wearing right now. It just goes over your shoulders like a little strapless shirt. Or not a strapless, but like a, what kind of strap? A little, not spaghetti strap, but this size strap. Anyway, like a shirt. It goes on your shoulders. So, my husband, which y'all didn't know, he does everything and can do everything. He can actually sew. And he knows more about some of the stuff than I do because he knows how to... He knows angles and all that stuff. I don't. I can follow a pattern, but he can take something like this and make another one out of it. So, he's going to help me make some more um, aprons out of some of this cloth that I got. I got three different patterns. I got this pattern. I think I'm holding it upside down. And I got this pattern. I guess I like blue because all of them have blue in it. That one's like a navy blue. And then I got this one that has um, chickens and stuff on it and ducks. And like, I can't remember what kind this is called. Is it twall? I don't know. Anyways, he's going to help me make me some aprons. I can sew and all that kind of stuff. But I can't take something like this and make another one out of it. Not without a lot of help. So he's going to help me do that. And I decided that I was just going to record it. Which I don't need this apron on because I'm done cooking. I'm going to take it off. But like the way this one does, it's fine. But after a while, it's like it, pull, it feels like it pulls on my neck. And I don't like that. But the type, this type... It just like a like a little jumper or whatever. It goes on you that way. So probably not going to record every bit of this, but as we go, I'll maybe jump in and tell y'all something, or I may just play music and let you watch it in fast speed. I don't know yet what I'm doing, but I just want to let y'all know what is going on. But right now he's doing measurements. Okay, so he has measurements, and he's about to start measuring it, and then we're going to cut it, right? Right? Yes. Where's the little thing at? We have used this to make many, many, many different things we've sewn. It's got marker all the way down both sides, and we've used it for lots of other things, too. How long have we had this thing? 20-some <laughs> Twenty years. <laughs> A long time. All right, I'm fixing to get the camera down. What is it?
shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say A straight stitch for this and um, for the pockets I'm gonna do like just one fold on three of the sides the size is gonna be sewn to the actual apron but on the top part where your hand goes in and out I'm gonna do a fold uh, I'm gonna do a double fold on that part right Jeffrey that's what we said right all right so it doesn't matter about which side I do what, right? Because it's all the same. The pockets are all just an eight by eight square. Take the light. 
So I'm going to try to get where y'all can see it all. I'm going to have to get way over here. It's so long. It's way down like to my ankles almost. He made it really long. But here's the pocket. That's the way it looks in the back. I like that it goes over your shoulders instead of around your neck. And we were going to do like um, sew it there, but we decided that it's, well, he said it wouldn't work or something, but it's best if it's not anyways. But that's the way it looks. And I don't know if we're going to do any the rest of them today. We'd only be able to do, well, actually, I think I have enough to do another one like this. But I don't think I want two of the same. Um, and the one with all the chickens and the girls and all that stuff on it, if I used it, the pattern would have to be an opposite way. So I'm not going to use for this kind of apron. I may make the other kind of apron that's actually the pattern that we have. But the other kind of cloth... I want to make sure that I like this, that it's not going to shrink and stuff, which I did wash it before, I think, but I can't remember. I know you're supposed to wash fabric before you ever use it, but we didn't do it tonight, but I think I did before. I can't remember, though. Anyways, that's the way it looks. What do you think, Jeffrey? Well, you made it really long. Uh, what you said you I said I wanted it longer than the other one. I didn't know you were making it a maxi. Yes, it's definitely longer. It's a maxi apron. Uh, well, it covers all your bushes. I don't care. It's nice. <laughs> it covers all my bridges. Okay. Let me get this thing up there. Yee. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm through with it. I'm not, we're not going to make another one tonight. Um, so, that's the way the apron looks. I think I like it a lot. I'm going to wash it, though, before I actually use it, I think. I don't know. What's the point? I may just go ahead and use it tomorrow. Um, and then wash it after that. But, I like the material is thick, but not too thick. And I like the way that it goes over my shoulders that's the main thing because I don't like stuff around my neck really and if you put your hands in your pockets of your apron which I do all the time whenever it's around your neck it pulls more on you but it's really easy to get these on and off well I say that and then I can't do it because I don't know what I'm doing you take it off just like you would a shirt but it's really long <laughs> no, I know it's not hard to shorten up, but I've already hemmed it, so we're not shortening it. But anyway, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't, do them anyway. You might like something I do later. Most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any